Google Drive can be an amazing tool, especially when you are using it with massive data, with video and other things. And it syncs, it syncs, and it does a great job. However, there's some issues that pop up, and oftentimes you wonder with the new Google Drive application that they force you to switch over to, is it really operating at its uh, best? Especially when you have a situation where your computer kind of shuts down, and, and then a lot of the stuff does not load properly. So let's jump in and show you what I found and how to work through it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos. Today we're talking about Google Drive, the issues that present themselves sometimes, specifically the one that I found out and what to do when things do kind of crumble in your hands and you don't realize until the next day and then you start to think, oh my God, like what about other things that could have happened that we were not sure about? So let's take a step back here and uh, give my problem today. I loaded up everything so it can sync. I left, I came back, the computer was frozen and um, yeah. I kind of reset the computer, I logged in, and then all of a sudden it is showing me uh, that these files weren't loaded, but they're saved in a location. So you can go there and figure it out. Now, because it was loading everywhere, it's just chaos. Let me show you what I mean. There's a whole bunch of different files here, and when I'm talking a lot of files, we're talking around 428 gigabytes that was not loaded over the night. So I'm losing time, if anything. But what, you'll get this error pop up, and when the error pops up, you'll see that it is stored in your C drive. It's not gonna be stored in any other drive that you may have assigned it to. So again, I have several drives, one of them is a G drive that I have. Whenever I work on anything, I throw it on there and then I sync it so then I can work offline with it. And it hasn't been an issue so far. I haven't had this issue present itself in over like eight months or six months that I've been using the new Google Drive. So the idea is that they force you to switch over. I synced it up so the Google Drive will actually work off a two terabyte drive that I have instead of the C drive. Yet this backup where it puts the issues on goes back to the uh, C drive. Well, imagine you didn't have enough space in the C drive, right? Uh, which I came close to now. Uh, so the idea here is I have all these files and now I got to figure out where are these files coming from. And I'm going back into my online folder and slowly loading them up right now. So I'm, uh, and all I'm doing is literally coming in and opening up a uh, different folder with a different Premiere package in there uh, with the project and then I'll look up hey where is or what is missing so then I go in here I identify that from the different projects these two files were not loaded and then I just uh, have to go back in and re transfer them over so I'm going to do that and basically this will start to resync. So this is something to note because you might not have enough space on your drive because you're using the C drive. I use my C drive so we're talking uh, this could have been catastrophic. I could have lost this stuff, and then and then what? Where would it be? You know, it, it it's it's annoying to say the least. So why wouldn't it just go back to the original place and just put it there and be like it didn't load? Makes absolutely no sense. So keep this in mind when you're using Google Drive because if you have this issue, you will cry, and and nobody will be there to cuddle you because uh, it'll be game over. Game over. So this way we make a whole bunch of different uh, copies of everything. Of course, sometimes you don't have time. Sometimes you don't have enough space. Uh, we're working with like, these massive files now with 4K. And I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, when you're looking at this, make sure that you just go step by step. It will pop up the error. It will show you the location. Go through and find which projects did you recently load and then move from there. Now, the other thing I did find two files there from previous projects. So I got to go search where that relates, which now puts it in perspective when you're naming files on, you know, one of these like super expensive cameras, uh, label them. Uh, for each project. So if it's a real professional project, make sure you label them because that's just going to go over the counter and then just reset. So in your folders, which I do have, because I was like, you know, didn't, never thought about the situation um, because I never got into the situation of how many projects we'd be working on. The idea here is that there is a lot of different projects on Google Drive now where if they're not in the folder and something is messed around, I literally have to watch the video, figure out what project's in and then go move it in. Oh, that's, that's an epic fail. That, my friends, is an epic fail. So naming folders, naming files, 
doing everything properly, uh, especially if you're going to start working with people. Oh man, like, you know, you, you got to think about this. So, uh, and, 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 and the point that I'm making here is that I've worked with people who do name their files and then they forced me to name their files. So they're the same when we moved everything, which was awesome. And when we forced, they're like, you better do it. And it's like, I never do it. Why would you do it? Just do it. <laughs> and now I know why. Now I know why. That being said, my name is Nikos. Leave a uh, like down below to help with the algorithm. Subscribe for more uh, videos. And of course, check out uh, these two videos. And if you have time, leave a comment. Tell me if I got the award today for uh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs>